Alright, hey guys, my name is Wapu Pokemon and you guys are watching my channel. Today we will be taking a look at the Afterglow wired controller for the Nintendo Switch. This is not an unboxing. So, let's get straight to the controller. Alright, so, <clears throat> here's the controller. This is a wired controller, there is a wireless version of this. Um, it feels really nice in your hands, um, especially if you have big hands like me and you're playing Breath of the Wild, uh, it, the controls are just a little bit too small. So, we have our D-pad right here, and I'll explain what this means in a minute. Um, and then we have our, L, our A, B, Y, X buttons, our home button, our plus and minus, our capture, our left joystick, and our right joystick, and our D-pad. Which hopefully Nintendo has fixed our D-pad, because I've heard that it has been broken for. And then we have our audio heads headset, head jack, I don't know what it's called, for a 3.5 something like that headset. Pretty much a regular headset. Or earplugs. And we have this little space right here, which we have this cord that connects to the switch and I'll show you how you guys can connect it so the cord is included with the controller you can just put that in pretty easily um, now once you have the controller plugged in uh, you take this part you can either use a third party uh, USB uh, like USB to USB C connector or you can use this if you've watched my previous videos, then you know what this is. Um, so, you can just plug this into any slot. I honestly prefer this slot. Um, and then that immediately plugs in. And then you can grab your switch and obviously get your controller and everything. So, I have my switch. And as you see, my controller is now lighting up, which is... That's kind of a lot, so turn on this bad boy. As you see here, the, I am currently controlling the Nintendo Switch, and I have it plugged in here. So, and this is how it looks like if you're recording a video. Obviously, you want to have the settings perfect. So you might want to turn down the brightness, or you might want to turn it up and turn down your contrast on your recording device so it looks nice and clean. And there's kind of, there, there is a pretty nice glare, that's because I'm not in my usual time of recording. But, it's, it's pretty smooth, it runs pretty smooth, and it has remappable buttons. Um... Okay, I don't know why that's not working. Did I turn it off? Alright, so that might happen to you, but uh, back here you can take this off and it will come into this two spaces. Um, I recommend having it on because the buttons are a little bit harder to click now, um, but it's all up to you. How, however you like it. Um, so, to remap the button, so let me just put this back on. You want to hold down this little button that you won't find on any other controller. That, like, like you won't find on the regular Pro Controller. You want to hold down this button, and then you want to click whichever one you want to remap. So, I want to rem- oh, hold on. Okay, so you want to hold this down, then you want to click whichever one you want, and as you see it started to blink, then I want to be remap it to A. Alright, it's now remapped to A. So whenever I click this button right here, as you see, oh, well you can't really see, but you get the idea. So, I don't have this game card inserted, and then I'm now going to click A. 
as you see there, it says insert the game card, which I cannot do because I don't have the game card in there. But yeah, that is now year A. So I like to have it on A, and then I like for this one to be Y, because, you know, actually just because, it's it's a lot easier to, to maneuver with. Um, now, how to change the lights and how they work, you can even change them off if they're not your style. I will show you exactly how to do it. So, what you want to do is you want to get this all lit up and then to change the light mode. So this is how you change your mode. You want to hold down the button and then you want to hold down L, this one right here, the first one, R. Oh, come on. Alright, L or R. As you see, these are different light modes. Okay, now, same thing goes with this one. This one is just fading in and out. This one is just solid color. Oh. This one is just changing color. Now I will show you how you can, um, how you can change the color of the light. So to change the color of the light, you want to hold down this, and you just want to do use the D-pad to go left or right, whatever color you want. Then you can just hold it down, and it can alternate between colors. Now, if you want to adjust the brightness, you can go like this. Uh, hold down the button, the circle of your button, and then you want to do ZL or ZR, as you see there. There you go, no brightness. And I'm still using it. Oh my god, that's terrible glare. But as you can tell, I'm still using it. Um, so yeah. Uh, and then for this right here, this plus and minus, this is for your headphone jack. So, if you plug in your headphone, you can hold this button down to raise the volume, and you'll hear a beep once you know you've raised it all the, like, all the way. Um, and once, and then you can also raise it all the way up here as well, um, when you have it in your headphone jack. So yeah, uh, thank you guys for watching, and I hope you guys can pick one of these bad boys up for yourself. Wapoo Pokemon, out.